Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be taking these lamps and I'm going to be making them look more farmhouse style. Right now they are like a sage green and I'm gonna get real close so you can see there's a little bit of black brushing that's brushed on. And I'm going to basically make them white and then I'll do the little bit of black detail. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be going this direction or this way, but Basically, at home was uh, moving stores, and they were normally $39.99, and I was on the hunt for lamps, and I got these for $11.99, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. These lamps are nice, thick, wood, and they're really heavy, so I figured I'm going to go ahead and give myself a little project to do, and what I will be using is Waverly chalk paint. You can find this at Walmart. I got this for $5.99. And a little bit of this goes a really long way. And then I'll be doing like a little distressed look with the black. And um, once again, Walmart $6.99 or $5.99 for this as well. And the brushes I'll be using is just a regular dollar brush from Walmart. And I'll be using this little bit of a stiffer brush. And this is what I'll be doing the black with. So let's get started. Okay, so I just got a little bit of paint on my brush. And I'm just going to start painting away. And this paint it has really good coverage. And the good thing is if for some reason you feel like you've messed up, you could always go back. Like when I'm going to do the black, if I feel like I did a little too much, I can go ahead and just go right back in with the white and start all over. So this isn't going to take too long, but I'm going to go ahead and paint the rest of this and I'll see you back in just one second. Okay, so this is the very first coat I got. So it it's on there, it's pretty well full coverage, but I'm gonna go ahead and do one more coat just so all of the little itty bitty parts are fully covered. But since it's farmhouse, if you like that look already, you don't have to do anything with it. But I'm gonna go ahead and just do one more coat. And that little bit of paint, let me turn it around, that little bit of paint basically covered, well not basically, it actually did, it covered everything. However, um, I'm using this paintbrush and to paint and you know, like get in all the little nooks and crannies. It like was a little bit harder than like other projects that I've done. So I'm just going to recommend using one of like the rounded brushes so it can really get in there real good to paint it white and then have another one for your black or you can uh, wash it out and then use the black after the white. So let me go ahead and give that one more go. Oh, also. This paint, it dries within minutes. So if you're in a hurry to get them painted and then use them, probably within like 15 minutes they are 100% completely dry. But I just got done painting this and it's already dry to the touch. See? So let me go ahead and give this one more go with the white paint. All right, so that completes the second coat. Now, I'm just gonna let it dry for a few minutes and then we'll end up doing the black and just kind of giving it a little bit of a distressed look. And what the good thing is too is you don't have to be an excellent painter to do this because farmhouse, it never looks smooth or perfect. It's always chippy and stuff like that. So that's the beauty of having your house look farmhouse, which I have recently transitioned a lot of my stuff over there to the farmhouse. Let me adjust the camera. There we go. So this is with the second coat. As you can tell, it's a lot better than the green. And let's just give that a couple minutes to dry and I'll show you how I'm gonna go ahead and put the black on. All right, now that it's been a couple of minutes, it's dry. Let's go ahead and then dip this 